click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, I welcome you all to this video. We are with the 14th chapter of microwave engineering where the monolithic microwave integrated circuits abbreviated as MMICs we are dealing with to understand the various details. The introduction to this particular technology we have done in the very first video. The materials corresponding to the various conductive, dielectric and the resistive types we have also discussed. In the third video, the growth corresponding to these MMICs is also discussed. Now let us have the MOSFET fabrication to be addressed in this topic. So here we start with our topic. The topic is titled MOSFET fabrication. So as MOSFET in one of our previous chapters when we were working to see the semiconductor platform useful for generation of the microwave signal based on to the negative resistance principle we have been detailed regarding this device that is called as MOSFET. So FET it is standing for the field effect transistor and MOS is standing for metal oxide semiconductor here. So I hope the MOSFET is very well known to you people as far as there it is a requirement of fabrication of MOSFETs so that it can be used in the monolithic microwave integrated circuitry. Hence this is the topic here. Now the generalized fabrication steps in the making of MOSFETs we shall be summarizing here. So I mentioned here fabrication steps for making MOSFETs here. So we shall try to have the understanding of these fabrication steps by schematic diagrams. So we start with the first step. The first step is of oxidation here. So in the oxidation step, here we have the P-type silicon semiconductor substrate material, whereas we have O2 from the above surface for the oxidation of this particular substrate material. The next step, we can have the N-type diffusion in this substrate. As the substrate is of P-type silicon material here, we have the same substrate P carried forward and at these two places through these oxide layers, we have the addition of ND representing the donor impurities here. So making them N positive levels here. Whereas the oxides form SiO2 lies represented into the dark shades. So at the third step here, we shall be making the use of masking or etching that we have discussed in the previous lecture here, where we continue with the P-type material. This is the N positive form in the previous step. And here we have the etching to be done for this particular region. Now by the next step, we again have oxidation. So in this oxidation, we have N positive at the two regions and the P-type material. So inside and there it is again the bombardment of O2 materials here. So forming the SiO2 layer like this here. Next to that, there it is formation of phosphorus glass here. So here we have phosphorus represented by capital P here. So we have here, it is a glass here, P type material, N positives, N positives. Here the formation of the glass material can be made here. Next to that, we again have masking and etching here. So P type substrate, N positives of the doping here and here 
for this particular region we have the etching here next to that there it is a step of metallization so in the metallization for the n positives to be inside the p type of the substrate at the topmost position we connect the metals the representation of the aluminium connectivity here and finally again we have the use of masking and etching here so therefore we have the each at the center here so this way the generalized mosfet that we have the knowledge of can be fabricated by these many number of steps here so total eight steps will be required for fabrication of the generalized mosfet that we know now if we select the case of n mos here so n type of the mos here so that time the fabrication steps can be summarized again with the help of schematic diagrams so here very first of all we have the figure part a which possesses the p type of the substrate here and over the p type of the substrate material here it is the resistive type of the material resist here we have here the boron implant over it the nitride oxide is also represented in this particular diagram whereas this particular region refers to the isolation mask here in the next step here we have for the same material where the p type of the substrate here we have we have the gate oxide and we have the p channel stop here now here we shall be having the boron implant as indicated earlier we have the same terminals represented for the before diagram and this diagram also and here it is the buried contact mask in the next step we continue for the same substrate here that it was and at this place we have the arsenic implant whereas this was the resist initially and now here it is the depletion type implant mask in the fourth step for the p type of the substrate here we again have the arsenic implant carry it forward and this is the polysilicon formed whereas we have the gate mask at this place lastly for the nmos fabrication we have the same p substrate carry it forward we have the buried contact here so it will be the formation of emda emdb this will be the dmd here this is p type of the glass material and for the same kind of the contacts aa we have the window mask here and at last at this particular position we have the p positive and n positive dopants represented along with this here here also we have the n positive corresponding the buried contact here so far we have seen the mosfet fabrication process as well as the n mos fabrication process now let us go for the another type the member in this particular family that it is cmos so for cmos fabrication we have the schematic diagrams to show you the several steps involved so very first of all the step is epitaxy and deposition here
so here we have the epitaxy and for this purpose here we are making the use of si3 and 4 here whereas this is the capital p and here we have i square n tub here next to that in the step number b we can go for the implantation where we again have the v type of the epitaxy here now at this particular region we have i2p tub and here we have capital b and the silicon dioxide here and at the part c here the oxidation process is to be carried out for the cmos fabrication so here we form p type of the tub and whereas we have n type of the tub onto the right hand side so again in the fabrication step at fourth number we have the deposition here this will be the diagram corresponding to the same substrate form the p type of the tub and n type of the tub here in the last process here where we have i square p positive and this is the representation of the filled oxide here and next to that we again have the implantation so we have the v p tub here n tub here this is i2n positive whereas we have the implantation from this particular position and the use of resist material here and lastly we have the deposition and metallization so we carry here p tub and n tub those are having the n positive and p positive regions represented here and here it is the p type of the glass formed here so finally this type of the device that has been fabricated will be acting as the cmos there so i hope the brief introduction to the mosfet fabrication is very clear to you people the more details also you can search for the same by the next lecture we shall be addressing the another topic in the same chapter the topic is titled thin film formation for more such information and the details of monolithic microwave integrated circuitry and the other topics of the subject you can subscribe to ekda channel thank you